The message was received from Jesus on the 17th of September, 1916. This discussion was recorded on the 19th of June, 2013, in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. It's, it's one of the most terrible things, actually, that I feel people who have received divine love have a tendency to do. Once they have received divine love and do feel to a degree that they have a sort of certain sonship or daughtership with God, if you like, they then begin to imply that if you haven't received divine love, that you're not a son or a daughter of God. And in fact, in fact, they even go so far as to declare the wrath of God upon those particular people who haven't received God's love. And, and this is a very damaging thing, as I've stated in this and other messages, mm. a very damaging thing that people who have received love can do. And um, it, if you look at the problems with faiths on the planet, there is always this tendency in all sorts of religious faiths, not just the Christian faith, to declare that what they believe is true and they are, and they are the only sons of God as a result of what they declare mm. and, and therefore condemn all others as being, um, uh, in many cases, even condemned to hell or condemned to some kind of eternal torment. And if not that, eternal damnation. And, uh, and these are very, very damaging teachings that exist in a lot of religious faiths, but, but particularly in Christianity. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so if we proceed, we can perhaps talk, talk about that a little bit more after mm. you read the next paragraph. I was just thinking before I do too, uh, this whole concept that God really loves all of her children is a concept that not many people really understand. And I can see why on the planet, because... The reality is we grow up in environments, in family-based environments, where we don't really feel loved or known or understood in most cases. It's rare to find a person who reflects upon their childhood and actually believes that their mother or father know them and understand them rather than just feel their own concept of their child. Mm. And, and so for that reason, most people have a very distorted view of how God sees them. And this distortion causes a huge lack of faith in God, a huge lack of faith in the desire to connect to God, but also it causes a lot of problems with their own self-esteem and self-worth, where they feel that they're not the worthy, you know, not mm. someone who's worthy enough for God to want to connect to, not someone who's worthy to be God's child. And so then they start coming up with beliefs and concepts that focus on this, this idea that, only certain people who believe certain things are worthy. Um, which is, and that's really tantamount to saying that you have to earn love by it, doing and exactly. being a certain way, which is not, not the truth. Not true at all. Um, no. It's not the truth about any kind of love. Real love never requires a payment or a, a set of... Or a service or any other yes, thing else. Yeah. yeah. And not only that, um, real love doesn't demand that the person believes the same as you do in order to love them. Mm. And God does not expect us to believe the same as God does in order for God to love us. Yeah. And the reality is for the majority of people on earth, they have come, come up with human constructed belief systems, which they've them attributed to God. And then they also, in order to control other people, try to force them upon others by threatening them with the lack of God's love at least, if not, if not hellfire and torment and damnation, <laughs> yes. at least they threaten other people with, you know, God's not going to love you while you believe that particular thing. And, and the truth is God loves us all the time. It's just that we don't feel it. Yes. And because of our certain blockages, we're not open to the reception of love. Yeah. Mm. And I feel often I've heard people pay lip service to this idea that God, lo no, God loves all of us, you know. Mm. Um, I've, I've heard uh, people of Christian persuasion and other people sort of, as I said, give that lip service. Mm -hmm. But when examining with them their actual belief systems, their actual the way their faith works, their faith in this loving God. And their own actions. And their own actions towards others. Mm -hmm. It demonstrates that that is not a belief that resides in their heart exactly. because they live with favoritism, they live with judgment, they, you know, they display a lot of qualities um, that don't reflect what they understand God believe God feels about them and yep. and the way God would desire them to act towards others if they were being loving. Exactly. 